Jugo Liang. However, he faces a counterattack by Sima Yi and dies at Ujong Plains before he is able to push his way through. His successor, Jiang Wei, is left with no choice but to stabilize domestic affairs for a time. Wu, who had joined Shu in an attack on Wei, was in similar circumstances. Troops and commoners were exhausted thanks to the continuous fighting and time was required to restore Wu's strength. With the attack by Wu and Shu ending in failure, Wei has a moment of peace from attacking enemies. However, there was one enemy Wei had to deal with during this period. Father, mother, you wanted to see us. That is correct. We have received orders from the Wei Emperor, Master Cao Rue. We are to quickly head to Liao Dong and defeat Gong Sun Yuan. You're here in Luo Yang, and they want you to go all the way to Liao Dong. Why? Isn't there anyone else closer? In the Central Plains, for example? Hmm. <laughs> Guan Xiu Jian already set out for the battle. However, he is an imbecile who relies on brute strength. He was soundly defeated and forced to flee to Shochun. Having defeated Master Guan Xiu Jian, Gong Sun Yuan seems to have got even more ideas above his station. What a pitiful little man he is. It will prove to be problematic if Gong Sun Yuan is able to take Shochun and allow Wu to invade him. That is why we must eliminate him as quickly as possible. However, before that, Shi, I want you to lead our forces for this battle. You want our brother to lead? Won't you be fighting, father? Why is it that you have to have everything explained to you before you understand? This is for the sake of your development. Your father wants to teach you as much as he can while he is still able. Yes. Even though Zhuge Liang is gone, there are still many obstacles to us uniting the land. I doubt that I can deal with them all in my lifetime. Therefore, I want you to distinguish yourself in this battle, so that you may succeed me after I am gone. What do you think, Shi? It is an honor, my lord. I will defeat Gong Sun Yuan and fight in a way that will make you proud. And with you in charge, brother, the troops will have complete confidence in our leadership. Indeed, she. Finish making your preparations and head for Liao Dong. Xiao, I want you to do whatever you can to support your brother. Gong Sun Yuan seems to have rejected our demands for him to surrender. What a fool he is. Digging his own grave like that. There is no reason for us to keep him alive anymore. If we show him mercy, it will only hurt us in the end. The best solution for Wei is to respond uncompromisingly. That's your solution, is it? I must say, you're more decisive than your father. I can't imagine who you take after. Brother, Wu has responded to Gong Sun Yuan's request for help. The Wu forces have been divided in two and are advancing towards us. They intend to strike us from the rear. This could be a major problem. Do not worry, Zhao. 
Wu will be troublesome, to be sure. But it is not as if the movements of each unit will be perfectly coordinated. Depending on how they attack, we may be able to use that against them. We must remain calm and observe the enemy closely. Nice thinking, brother. I'll give all I have to make sure your first battle in charge goes without a hitch. She, I look forward to seeing what you can accomplish. Of course, it goes without saying that you must not bring shame upon our family's reputation. The enemy is in Xiangping Castle! We must slay Gongsun Yuan and quell this rebellion! Destroy the enemy. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. We cannot afford to lose this position! I shall personally see to its defense! Attack however you like! We won't let you reach the King of Yan! Defensive line means nothing to them! Retreat before Alright! We've broken down the enemy front lines. Now it's time to begin the march to Xiangping. Everything went just as planned. <laughs> I knew you were good, but not this good. Send a signal to the enemy. Everything went just as planned. <laughs> they have to offer. My mother is the strongest person I know. Everyone attack! Charge in from the undefended seaward side! What's that? The wave forces are attacking from the west? They come by boat? Uh, 
This area now belongs to me. Any questions? tooth and nail to keep this place safe. I knew this battle was a bad idea. We can capture that position. It must be captured at once. Resist the enemy from within the castle, everyone. We must make this a test of stamina and wait the enemy out. All right. I need everyone to defend this area. Clan be cursed for all eternity! <laughs> Xiong Ping has fallen. Victory is ours. Now we simply need to put an end to our foolish opponents. <laughs> Gong Sun Yuan's entire family is to be executed. I believe his brother is in Luo Yang. Do not let him get away. Do you really have to go that far, brother? 
I mean, it was Gong Sun Huan who told us that his brother was likely planning a rebellion and advised us how best to handle it. They may not have any intention of rebelling now, Zhao, but if we allow their blood to remain, there will come a time when they resent what has happened to their family. We must snuff out any chance of that right now. If you say so. <laughs> she. I see you have become quite merciless. I have ceded control to you, so I will refrain from criticizing your decisions. However, even if you are in the right, a lack of mercy can lead to new problems. See, brother? Even father thinks you're overdoing it. Why don't you reconsider? Father is right, certainly. But if I prove that my response to any uprising will be totally uncompromising, then fear will rule the day, and none will dare rebel. A firm hand is needed to bring peace to this land. Was that not the policy of the previous emperor, Master Cao Pi? My lord husband, you said you would leave this to Xi, and now you are interfering in his decisions. And she? You're so terribly stubborn. Why must the men of this family always be like this? I think that's enough, Mother. <clears throat> are you saying we are alike? Fine. We shall see your plan through to the end. Come on, Father, Brother, we've done our duty. I think it's time we headed back to Luo Yang. Master Shima Yi, you did well in dealing with Gong Sun Yuan. However, while you were gone, our Imperial Highness's condition worsened, and he passed away. I see. That is most unfortunate. Master Cao Rue shared Master Cao Pi's great wisdom. This is a massive blow to Wei. Crown Prince Cao Feng is still quite young. I believe you have already heard from Master Cao Rue, but you and I are to serve as Master Cao Feng's advisors. Um, yes, I was told as much. I wish to consult you on something. Shu has long stationed troops in Hongzhong, but they have begun to pull them out recently. We have long been at war with Shu. Is this not an ideal opportunity to eliminate them for good? Hmm. That is perhaps the most idiotic idea I have ever heard. What? The reason Shu pulled out their troops from Hanshan was to station them where it is easier to receive supplies. If we attack them now, we will incur heavy losses. Ah. It doesn't matter what you think, as I have already secured permission for this attack on Shu. You will do as you're told. Hmm. Father, are we seriously going to war against Shu? We've only just put down an internal rebellion. And the East is still a long way from stability. You are right, Zhao. However, this is the decision of Master Cao Shuang. He appears to have made the arrangements while we were away. The Grand General, Master Cao Shuang. Frankly, I can't see what we have to gain from attacking Shu right now. 
I think, Master Cao Shuang simply desires to have a military achievement under his belt. Unlike Father, who has been appointed regent alongside him, he has little battlefield experience. A military achievement? Why does it have to be military? Once the war is ended, battlefield feats won't mean a thing anyway. Hm. I do not think that imbecile is capable of such foresight. I believe the reason he is pushing for this battle is to strip me of my authority. I am certain that he was manipulated by Master Cao Cao's adopted son, Master He Eon, and his followers. He used to be much more honest and straightforward. But Father, if we do attack the way he wants, we will end up meeting the Shu forces at Mount Xingxi. That is a very difficult place to manipulate troops. With the inexperienced Master Cao Shuang in charge, we have little chance of victory. Should we not try and find a way to avoid this? I agree with brother. I don't want to follow that idiot halfway up a mountain when I could be relaxing here in Luoyang instead. I do not wish to participate in this pointless battle. But I cannot simply ignore Master Cao Shuang's orders. I want both of you to accompany me to Mount Xingxi. She, I see. I have heard of your exploits in defeating Gong Su Yuan. Fine work. So, may I ask what business you have with me? As the Grand General of the Wei Army, I am a little busy, you see. If you will forgive me, my lord, I have one or two concerns regarding our formations for this battle which I would like to raise with you. Concerns? At the present moment, our forces are heavily weighted towards the front lines. If we sustain an attack from the rear, the front line units will be dangerously isolated. The area around Hanchong is replete with narrow alleyways and paths, and is made for surprise raids. I feel we should redistribute our forces towards the rear to guard against that. Hmm. You Shima men are all alike. With your petty concerns and tricky rhetoric, Forget about enemy raids. All we need do is defeat Shu before that happens. But by the mighty Tao clan, we will use our superior numbers to crush the enemy and win with honor. That's the way we do things. I will lead a unit on the front lines myself and raise our flag when we claim Han Zhang. You two can sit here and worry needlessly if you like. In other words, he has no particular plan, and simply intends to throw his forces against the enemies. If that's all it took to defeat Shu, better men than him would have done it long ago. Indeed. I barely know what to say to such idiocy. But there is no need for us to behave as irresponsibly as him. Come. This may not be a battle we can win, but we can certainly do our best to keep casualties to a minimum. Shoe will be no match for me once I get into things. I think I'll begin by... Down Hong Chong.
The enemy is on its way here. Take defensive positions. This area now belongs to me. Any questions? Huh! 
This area now belongs to me. Any questions? Undefended is dangerous. I shall see to its defense. What? Way forces here? Prepare to engage the enemy at once! they have to offer. Comprehensively. We won't be able to send any more reinforcements in now. Everything went just as planned. Take the attack to the enemy! Forward! You will not pass this place with me here! Observe the power of the shoe! We cannot afford to lose this position! I shall personally see to its defense! They have broken through my defensive line. How could I let this happen? Is that the best they have to offer? Everything went just as planned. <laughs> my mother is the... 
strongest person I know. Mother, you are strong. No wonder father is afraid of you. Magnificent warrior I've ever seen. Just as planned. <laughs> My mother is the strongest person I know. to me. Any questions? Alright. I need everyone to defend this area. I will not let you reach Hanjong. I will die before I let you. Inside our camp! Master Wan Ping! 
Zonda. My mother is the strongest person I know. I must fall back. Is that the best they have to offer? Mother, you are strong. No wonder father is afraid of you. Such great strength. I'm pulling back for now. I could never hope to aspire to such greatness. to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. Is that the best they have to offer? You are perhaps the most magnificent warrior I've ever seen. Oh, I do not think I can fight on. I wanted to prevent the enemy reaching Hanjong at all costs, but... My mother is the strongest. I know. Sneak attack on the way. If we can claim it, we should be able to exert pressure on the enemy's main camp. Just roll right over them. This base is ours. <laughs> Shoe forces? There? My heart nearly stopped with the shot. Are you alright? Not coughing too badly today? I'm here now, so you can relax. Alright. I need everyone. To defend this area. By the way, how could I explain this to Master Wan Ping? Is that the best they have to offer? Keep quiet! Is that the best they have to offer? The plan has failed. How could we fail to claim a single, measly base? We have kept the enemy forces at bay. Then it is time for us to turn to the attack. Everything went just as planned. <laughs> Forces 
closing in. Stay calm and fight back. weakness. I must work harder to overcome it. Is that the best they have to offer? Die. It's a pleasure to meet you. The enemy is going to attack us here. Everyone prepare to defend this spot. Sure know how 
to fight! Is that the best they have to offer? Sure know how to fight. Oh, that's some excellent fighting. they have to offer. The enemy has reached Hanzhong, regardless of my efforts. Hanzhong is ours! Onward! The soldiers may be tired, but we can't afford to pander to them. We've managed to make it as far as Hanzhong. Do not let the soldiers rest, no matter how much they complain. As soon as our battle ranks are reformed, we will attack Chengdu. Grand General, I have to report that Stronghold up ahead is well defended by the forces of Shu. It will be almost impossible to take down. On top of that, our supply lines to the rear are stretched dangerously thin. If we sustain an enemy raid, we run the risk of losing our supply route from Sheng An and being isolated. Silence! How dare you speak to your Grand General like that! You just want me to withdraw my forces so that I won't be able to claim the glory that is rightfully mine! No, that's not it at all. Master Cao Shuang, I must agree with Master Sima Shao. Our soldiers and steeds are fatigued and injured. To fight on would be mere folly. <sighs> Even you would say such things, Sha Ho Xuan? Huh, well, this was all a test. That's right, I was testing you. And it seems our men are a bunch of weaklings. There is no point in sending them any further. Order all forces to retreat. Everyone is to retreat to Luoyang at once. Thank you for the help, Master Shao Shuan. It seems you managed to convince him. I apologize for any inconvenience caused, Master Sima Zhao. Master Cao Shuang is simply desperate to regain his clan's lost glory. I know, but this retreat is going to end up damaging his reputation still further. That cannot be helped. Were it not for yourself, your lord brother, and a handful of other capable officers, this battle could have had a much worse outcome. The Kingdom of Wei, Master Cao Pi and Master Cao Rui built, is now being threatened by their descendants in the Cao clan. 
Something must be done before U or Shu takes advantage. There are still those near the Cao clan, such as yourself and Shao Ba, who are determined to use their talents for the benefit of the kingdom. As long as Master Cao Chuang refrains from more overt foolishness of this type, we should be fine. Come, we need to get back to Luo Yang. This area now belongs to me. Any questions? Father, there is something I would like to talk to you about. Ever since his defeat at Mount Xingxi, the Grand General has wasted his time and money on wanton debauchery. The economic resources established by the previous Emperor are being drained rapidly, and we can barely maintain our defenses against Wu and Shu. It is dangerous to allow him to rule any longer. Dangerous? What are you saying, brother? You think we should remove Cao Shuang and seize power for ourselves? You realize that is a double-edged sword, do you not? It is true that Cao Shuang presents a threat to our nation from within. But there are still many who are loyal to the Cao family because of Cao Cao and Cao Pi. To depose Cao Shuang is likely to incur the wrath of those loyalists. At worst, it could lead to civil war. We need to be prepared if we take that path. Brother! I have always been prepared. Pouncing on the opportunity provided by what happened at Mount Xingxi, Shu has made its move. We will be at war within a few days. We must remove the disease eating away at the heart of our kingdom before then. My lord, I hear that the Grand General is away hunting at the moment. Perhaps now would be the most opportune moment? Hmm. This could be our best chance, with Cao Shuang and the others away from Luoyang. We must move quickly. Head for the palace at once. Master Sima Shi is said to be leading troops towards the castle. My friends, do you suppose? Yes. Master Sima Shi is finally making his move. This is the moment we have all waited for for so long. Ever since his return from Mount Xingxi, Master Cao Shuang has done nothing but indulge his own baser instincts. His waste of our valuable taxes cannot be overlooked. Despite the fact that Shu is showing signs of preparing to attack us, our leader wastes our military budget on his own gratification. I've been so worried that Shu might attack at any moment that I can feel what remains of my life slipping away all the time. <laughs> Everyone, Master Sima Shi wants to see you. 
You all know why. I take it. Understood. We will go to him at once. Even if it drains the last of my life, I will do what I must to keep this kingdom safe. I owe everything I have to Master Sima Yi. In order to repay that debt I owe, I will carry out my mission. You have chosen wisely, gentlemen. We must head for the palace at once. This must be done before the general returns from his hunt. Thank you for coming, everyone. The Grand General, Master Cao Shuang, is currently away from Luoyang on a hunting trip. We intend to take this opportunity to strip him of his powers. Brother, I know Cao Shuang is unfit to leave, but don't you think there might be a subtler way of doing this? You need to show more commitment, Zhao. The decay at the heart of our kingdom cannot be removed by adopting half-measures. This is a step that we must take if we truly wish to bring peace to the land. It is our destiny. I see. Good. We will seize Luo Young before Cao Shuang returns. We must quickly capture Luo Young. Then we will be able to slay Cao Shuang outside the castle walls. Acquired information regarding the man who plans to assassinate the Emperor. His name is John Dong, and he has links with Xiao Xuan. If we capture him, perhaps he will confess Xiao Xuan's involvement in this crime. It certainly seems worth a try. I think I've seen who you are looking for. Over there, actually. saw them a ways in that direction. I'm sure it's who you're looking for. Heard he was lying and hiding somewhere around here. Where could he be?
targeting the armory. We won't give this place to anyone. Fire! Drive off these insolent dogs! <laughs> sure. Defensive positions! Defeat! We'll have to our weapons now. Everything went just as planned. <laughs> My dear, how about being just a little bit nicer? Report! Lord Panju is defeated. Sima E has taken the weapon storehouse. What? But we're already running out of arrows! Now we've lost the armory! We cannot restock! Sima E will be allowed to have his way no longer. I will go and stop him myself. He was lying and hiding somewhere around here. Where could... realized our plans. Well, I won't let myself be captured. Uh, hold! I'll talk. Spare me. The way I have ignored Sao Shuang for too long. Everyone knows the truth now. I guess it's all thanks to this big catch. Is that the best they have to offer? Everything went just as planned. <laughs> My mother is the strongest person I know. Incredible, my lady. To think you apply the same methods in your teaching. <laughs> Everyone! 
to defend this area. You will not breach the palace. If you do not leave now, I will cut you down where you stand. Invested in battle? Impossible! They have to offer. My dear, how about being just a little bit nice? We have to retreat. I made a powerful fool today, Sima Clan. Strongest person I know. <laughs> Sweet. Sweet. All right. I need everyone to defend this area! been defeated. What a shame. How could I fall to one with such an inferior mind? I am ashamed of my inadequacy. in battle? Impossible!
I fall to one with such an inferior mind? I am ashamed of my inadequacy. You will not breach the palace. If you do not... Leave now. I will cut you down where you stand. All right. I need everyone to defend this area. Invested in battle? Impossible! My mother is the strongest person I know. Just to get into Luoyang? How dare you make me go to such trouble! Have faith, Lord Cao Shuang! I will defeat Sima Yi and his henchmen at once!
the strongest person I know. The best they have to offer. My dear, how about being just a little bit nice? Curse you, <sighs> you miserable traitors. How could I not have enough to overcome you? I have claimed control of the palace. Cease your futile resistance at once. <laughs> Everything went just as planned. <laughs> Mother, you are strong. No wonder father is afraid of you. Report! We've lost multiple lords. The Luoyang Palace now belongs to Sima Yi. I can't... No! We cannot allow them to run rampant any longer! Take back Luoyang, the Lord Sao Shuang. Here we go! Did you hear? Lord Xiao Shuang and Lord Zhang Dong tried to kill the Emperor. Our sergeants are bad for us. Should we ally with the Sima after all? Sima Yi, to attack while I was gone. This is an act of cowardice, as well as high treason against the Kingdom of Wei. All right. I need everyone to defend this area. the glory that is rightfully ours. So you have yet to understand the true nature of our plans? Zhao Shuang, you fool! We are taking you to Shu Chang! Do you really think that you will get away with doing this? You're a minister of Tao Wei, and you dare raise your hand to it me? It's because I am a minister of Tao Wei. Mm -hmm. The great lord Cao Cao laid the very cornerstones to build Tao Wei. The wise Cao Pi built the foundation. 
I've served three generations. No, four generations. And I have done everything I can to ensure that it would always prosper. And I will not. Allow a fool like you to ruin everything that we've built and worked for! You must seek the forgiveness of my lords Cao Cao and Cao Pi when you finally meet them in the afterlife. Traitors! You dare to usurp my throne! Sir, you say? Perhaps there really is no other way than that. 